shift gears a bit to Toronto. So um, uh, my name is Jeremy Hall. I'm the program director in Toronto. I've been there for a little while. I'm, I'm going to give you a brief talk. And then uh, my chief resident, uh, Darius, is going to give you a bit of a resident perspective. So why is it, uh, why would you want to come to Toronto? Why would you want to train here? Well, you know, in Toronto, uh, we we um, we have a, a number of uh, of great opportunities for residents. I think the training program is second to none. We have a great community. Uh, there's lots of research opportunities. I think our fellows are one of our greatest assets. Uh, there's the Toronto lifestyle, which I'll talk a little bit about, and then our fellowship and job successes that we can be pretty proud of. So uh, I think um, you know the training program in Toronto is is uh, pretty innovative. We we try to adopt and and and, and incorporate as many of the uh, novel learning techniques as we can, whether that's, uh, you know, VR, AR, um, you know, learning about uh, robotics, um, you name it, we, we try to uh, implement those within the training program. We have um, multiple evaluations of uh, clinical and surgical competence, just like, um, you know, every other program, but we have uh, a significant uh, history of uh, competence-based uh, curriculums. We had the uh, competence-based curriculum before the competence by design came out and our faculty are uh, very um, uh, familiar with the evaluations and uh, obviously we will help you uh, get through your uh, training program through those. Uh, we have six um, uh, world renowned training hospitals that uh, people uh, travel to from uh, all over uh, Ontario, Canada, North America and the world for, for um, uh, treatment and it offers you the opportunity to really get a flavor for uh, multiple different areas of orthopedics. <clears throat> well, at the same time, we have uh, multiple community, national, and international elective opportunities, and that's partly because of the international flavor of our faculty, but also the international flavor of our fellows and trainees. Um, we are it's sort of one-stop shopping in Toronto. We we offer just about everything that you could possibly uh, want to uh, either learn or do in orthopedics, uh, and so other programs uh, from around uh, Ontario and other places uh, send their residents to Toronto for for experiences in things like pediatrics and MSK oncology, uh, trauma, and others. Uh, we do our best to respond to your feedback. You know, as long as we have some constructive feedback at our intermittent meetings with the residents, uh, then uh, we try to uh, turn that into a better program. And I think that we've been pretty responsive over the last several years in a number of different uh, areas of orthopedics. Um, I think our community is uh, one, of the <clears throat> one of the strongest aspects of our program. We have uh, residents uh, that uh, come from uh, from all over uh, uh, Ontario, Canada, North America, and the world, and I think that gives a real uh, kind of nuanced flavor to our program. Uh, faculty have trained uh, uh, everywhere in the world, and at the same time, um, are uh, world renowned with regard to their expertise. We have fellows that uh, come from uh, many different countries, which uh, gives you an international flavor for orthopedics, but also provides opportunities for uh, either um, uh, electives or fellowships or or job prospects in those countries. Uh, we have the University of Toronto medical students, but also medical students from across um, uh, Canada that come and spend time with us in Toronto and get a, uh, you have an opportunity to discuss their, their, um, their uh, experiences as well. And then we have um, a multiple allied healthcare training programs that you could uh, will also be um, uh, adjacent to, which will give you a flavor for uh, for their day-to-day um, uh, -day runnings. Our research, um, I think we have some fantastic researchers at the University of Toronto, and we offer the Surgeon Scientist Program, which give, facilitates a period of time away from the program to uh, to um, work on either a master's or a PhD. Uh, others have left uh, for a period of time to do certificate. Uh, yeah, things like uh, uh, orthopedic innovation and um, <clears throat> and other uh, and other areas such as business. Um, this is protected time uh, for the surgeon scientist program, but we also have protect protected time for you to do research throughout the program with research electives or otherwise. Uh, we have research in all aspects of orthopedics, so you don't really have to go very far uh, to um, uh, to uh, get uh, knee deep into the type of research that you'd like to do with international linkages for multi-center um, uh, research opportunities. And throughout uh, the uh, program, uh, you'll have lots of opportunity to learn how and uh, what research really is and the support to complete your research projects. As I said, the fellows are, I think, instrumental when, in our program. They, they really are, are uh, an alternate faculty when you're, when you're undertaking a, a number of your clinical and uh, technical um, uh, 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 <coughs> uh, processes. I mean, they, they, um, they'll give you an international flavor, they'll give you a down-to-earth flavor, and they'll definitely help you prepare for your exams, because many of them have just written them, give you some insights in how you can actually um, um, uh, prepare for uh, the uh, Royal College exam. 
and again, those connections that can lead to fellowships or um, uh, or job prospects uh, in other areas. It's Toronto, right? So we got lots of teams. Uh, we all pray for the Toronto Maple Leafs at all times, but some of our other teams have been um, uh, quite successful, and it's really fun to get out and see them. We have a number of faculty that are involved in those programs. Um, yeah, there's lots of, uh, of uh, other things. If you like to um, uh, go out for dinner or see the shows, there's uh, always something happening in Toronto. Very multicultural, but at the same time, it's pretty safe. It's probably a couple of streets you probably shouldn't go to at night, but that's probably the same in every city. And that the real thing that we try to advocate for is when you're off, you're off. So you spend the time how you want, whether that's, you know, a staycation downtown or go away. And, and I think Darius is going to talk a bit about that. Um, as far as our fellowship and job successes, you know, having those international linkages through fellowships and faculty has really provided a lot of opportunities for our re residents. And so we have excellent rankings to U.S. and international and national fellowships. And we have an excellent job hiring um, uh, rate. The uh, COA just has uh, well, redoing this uh, this same survey, but just about everybody that's uh, wanted to have a full-time job in orthopedics uh, after graduating uh, from University of Toronto has a job. And then we have an active alumni con connection to try to help gain some insights into who and where the job prospects might be and get their support for our uh, for our residents and our fellows as going through their training program. So why Toronto? Well, I think we're training program second to none. We have a great community. We have a multitude of research opportunities. I think our fellows are one of our greatest strengths when it comes to education and opportunities for our residents. It's the Toronto lifestyle, right? So eat, drink, and party. And then our fellowship job success speaks for itself. So we really want you to consider us highly when you, uh, when you think about uh, your orthopedic residency training. And so with that, I'd, I'd like to hand it over to Darius. So I'm Darius Lemaire. I'm the current chief resident at the University of Toronto Residency Program. Uh, my talk will be about working hard, but playing harder. I think it's really important to find a place where you can work hard, and but really more so enjoy what you do. And I find that's uh, really represent representative of Toronto. So let's go there. So one of the big things, obviously you're talking about Toronto, biggest city in Canada, one of the biggest cities in North America. You're covering many different hospitals. We'll go over some of them. There's just so many different mentors. You're looking for fellowships in any different specialty. You're going to have someone that can have your back. A uh, ton of variety, ton of complexity. So many opportunities to make new friends, big program, lots of opportunity, amazing opportunities for food, fun, and continual lease disappointment. Uh, some of the big trauma centers we cover is the Sunnybrook uh, Health Science Center, which is the biggest trauma center in Canada. Uh, St. Michael's is our other level, level one trauma center. You have Mount Sinai, Toronto Western, Sick Kids, Michael Guerin, Women's College, and other community sites. Uh, we have, you're learning in, under the legacy of some of the greats in orthopedics, whether it's Dr. Shasker, Dr. Tile, Dr. Waddell, tons of, uh, uh, you know, legends of Toronto. And then we have our current, you know, in, incredible faculty, so many world-renowned uh, leaders in orthopedics, uh, lots of recent hires as well. A lot of these that trained and did fellowships in Toronto. Uh, you know, you're going to have so many friends going to all these different conferences, all these different courses, so many, so many opportunities to make, you know, lifelong relationships. We have our annual Salter Cup, which is our golf tournament. Uh, this is a great opportunity to you know have some fun. We do it every year in September. We have our uh, Golden Scalpel, which is part of the De uh, University of D Toronto Department of Surgery, which we won the year before. We sadly didn't win last year, but it's a great opportunity to have some fun with some friends. Uh, we have tons of events, whether it's our wellness days in the summer, where we go and we go and invite our staff based off PGY year. And we go to a big, nice dinner, whether it's you know view of the CN Tower or our different galas and such. We have a ton of complexity. You're going to see the wildest, craziest cases. You know, all of the uh, you know, tectum, taint detectum, massive scoliosis corrections. You're going to see massive deformities. You know, the biggest traumas you can you can see. Uh, you know, major reconstructions and uh, major, major, major trauma. But you learn how to manage that, so you're not scared of really anything. Uh, you know, you see major pelvic reconstructions and uh, fixations, big spine tumor cases. Uh, you're going to see just the biggest of the best. We also have our junior and senior ortho boot camp. So before you start, is one of our highlights. Before you start residency, right in the first month, you do your junior boot camp where you learn all the bases of orthopedics. We re recently Im implemented a senior boot camp. So in June of your PGY uh, three year, or right before PGY three, right before you become a senior, it kind of levels the playing field. That you come back, you do cadaver work, you do all the approaches, re you know, relearn all that anatomy, make sure you have all that uh, information cemented before you become a senior. Uh, again, gives you familiarity with the anatomy and surgical instruments and then refreshes that memory. You know, a great opportunity to bond with co-residents, gain some mentorship from some of our active faculty. Again, these are just some of the main, main topics that you learn in your basic boot camp. 
somebody's playing some music. Anyways, uh, and at the time, it's a great opportunity to, you know, make some friendships, uh, you know, have some fun, uh, go to, you know, more opportunity to bond with your co-residents. Uh, you know, there's a ton of education. It's a massive priority at the University of Toronto. We have every morning at all the sites, daily teaching from seven to eight. This is staff led, not led by residents, not usually led by fellows. The majority of the time, you have a, you know, a staff, it was an AO, you know, trauma staff that really teaches AO trauma or advanced trauma, which I'm actually going to in the mornings, every morning they're there teaching us trauma. Like it's, it's insane. Uh, we have our OP day, which are twice a month, which you have your half day uh, where you go to teaching. Again, there's staff, there's fellow senior resident led teaching, uh, you know, ton of research opportunity for surgical scientists training program. And we have our grand rounds in the mornings on Fridays. Uh, you have our EPA system. We're very familiar with it. The CBD training program. Our rotation schedules are really nice. One of the perks of Toronto is you do three month blocks. You really get to know a staff, you really get to know a concept. You, you know, focus all that you can on that one topic and you move to the next. It's really nice kind of instead of going jumping around block to block, you get to focus on learning that topic. Uh, I'll just go very briefly, just, you know, in the beginning of your transition residency, one of the things I want to highlight here is you have minimal off service, like you have three, four, three months of off service in PGY1, you do a little bit of ICU, some hospitalist geriatrics, Other, otherwise you're in orthopedics. In PGY2, you do basically hand slash plastics, which is, you know, pretty much orthopedics. For two months, you have a one a month of MSK, the rest is orthopedics. Similar in PGY3, similar in PGY4, when you're ancient like me now all orthopedics, you have such priority for studying for the exam, you get at least you know, two to three months just to study for the exam for the, you know, uh, generally used for the MCQ, but also another month or two for the oral, we prioritize the time that you need to study, you can complete the program in four in four years, you have the rest of the time to do what you want, kind of like a pseudo fellowship in PGY-5. Very quickly, a daily life, you know, you're waking up early, you're rounding on patients, we hand over as a team every morning around 630. You have staff led teaching seven to eight. You do your clinical duties to eight to you know three thirty or five. You clean up. You go home if you're like me, take a nap, or you do some other stuff, fun stuff, prep for cases, study what whatnot. Uh, overnight cost. I want to be mindful of the time. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, I just wrap it up here. You do it four to seven months. It's always very high, you know structured. You have a resident. You have a fellow. You have a staff. Every single call, one to two residents. You may cover spine at some sites. You have twenty four hour call. We have mandatory post call days off. Great opportunity to catch up on sleep, catch up on research, study. Obviously, you get a call stipend. Uh, you have a bit of time to have some fun in there. Calls, you know, calls call. Uh, a lot of opportunities, like we mentioned before, whether it's through industry, whether it's through technology, whether it's through AR, VR. Uh, you have, you know, some of the head team docs, Dr. Tideropoulos, Dr. Shahal, Dr. Uh, Marks, Dr. Noth. These are, the, you know, the team physicians of the sports teams in Toronto. Uh, Dr. Marks actually was, you know, at the, uh, when the Raptors won and at the parade as well. You have also an opportunity through SSTP to do other things than just, you know, Clint Epi or whatnot. This is Sam Keshin. He did a biodesign fellowship uh, or, sorry, research year in Stanford last year. So you have opportunities to do other things outside of Toronto. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, obviously, you have a city, you have everything you want, everything that you can imagine here. It's exceptionally multicultural, so many opportunities. Uh, you also have time for family. So many, you know, I've been so many of my colleagues, uh, weddings, a lot of you know, residents have families, have children. Uh, it's a lot of fun and some pets along the way as well. So you can find us at UFT Orthopedics. You can email me at DariusLemaire at mail.utoronto.ca. I'll put my email below and I uh, hope you strongly consider Toronto.